My swing thought doesn't really change much. It's always kind of inside the same zone. My feels are a little short, but they're not tremendously short. They're just by like a few millimeters. So just by that helps me get timing wise and definitely syncs everything else um, together. A lot has to do with tempo. Just committing to the shot. I'm a big feel guy. Turn your body and club through together. Tom Kim. It has been a meteoric rise for the 20 year old star from South Korea. He turned people's heads when he contended at the 22 Genesis Scottish Open. He opened people's eyes when he raced to a virtuoso victory at the 2022 Wyndham Championship. There's your new champion. We have this tournament's youngest winner of all time. The golf swing simple, efficient, functional, and when this guy is on, he is one of the most accurate strikers in the world's game. Oh yeah, what a beautiful pass yeah. there. And that got a little heat behind it too, gents. And I, I never believe that Tom Kim just hit it as hard as he could. He didn't really have the horsepower to take on this left line. Oh wow. Well, I tell you what, since Tom Kim's been on tour, he's increased his ball speed almost 10 miles an hour. So I need to bite my tongue about how far he could hit it now, because that was 177 ball speed. At address, Tom Kim does things that everybody can learn from. And first off, I want to illustrate by just dropping a line down from basically the front of his shoulders. And then another one from down right on his triceps to the ground, so two plumb lines. And can you see how his hands just fit in the middle of that? And his body is just shaped beautifully around that area. Perfect distance from the golf ball, very balanced. Now I want to draw a little circle for you, and that circle is right where his hands are. And then I'd like to build on that too and show what I call the cone for success. And that is a line basically right up the shaft of the club, and then another line right over the shoulders of the player. So as he starts away, you'll see the club just graze along the bottom line in that cone for success. Unhurried, no club face manipulation, just a sweep of the arms away around the shape of the body. Right in the middle of the cone, beautiful start to the golf swing. Now, as he takes it to the top, you'll see his lead arm, his left arm, basically just kiss the top of the cone. Club face beautifully square, lined up with the arm, everything on the money now. Now, as he unwinds on the way down, watch how the arms fall downward, lower body leads, eyes trained behind the golf ball, club right in the heart of the cone, and now the magic move. Continues downwards and hands right in the middle of that circle, right in the middle of the cone, club face right over the back of the golf ball, and from there, the work is done. Arms release through, up into a full flowing balanced finish. Part of that is why Tom Kim is just so successful and so accurate. He just swings up and down the plane of the golf swing and never manipulates anything. Yeah, that's a good line. He didn't watch that one, picked the tee up quickly. Good looking rhythm there, once again. Oh, Tommy Likey. 177 ball speed there. That is getting it out there as well. That's past shuffling. Once again, Frank he, is wrong. He's got plenty of power. Tom Kim with a driver in his hand. Now, one of the reasons why he is just so very accurate is because there's an absence of excess moving parts. Think of the concept, two turns and a swish. A turn back of the body, a turn through of the body, and a swish of the arms in the golf club all the way around the action. So at address, Tom Kim does not have the legs as wide as most, doesn't need to because honestly, he's not one of the longest hitters on the PGA Tour, but he is one of the most accurate. So you can see how the head's behind the golf ball there, and he is now primed for success. As he moves away, you'll see the arms move away, the triangle of those arms move away in one piece, and it gets driven by the rotation of the torso. 
the abdomen. See how it looks like the body and the arms are moving away there together. And look at the big stretch here from left shoulder all the way to the club head. There is zero manipulation or movement in those hands right there. As it continues to move on up, you'll see this area continue to wind and the arms will just follow. At the top of the swing there, unlike most on the tour, you see his hands are in behind his head a little bit more, but here's the kicker. That's all a function of this big body wind up there. Lots of turn in the hips and lots of turn in the torso. Now as he swings down and we stop him halfway down, the body unwinds, the head's stable. Look at that right there. A lot of golfers, you will see a whole lot of lagging in the wrists over there. But Tom Kim has really quiet wrists throughout this action. And again, if you're struggling for accuracy and consistency, you may want to try this. Right now, the eyes are behind the ball. You'll see the body continue to turn. Remember, two turns and a swish. And that leads the golf club into the golf ball. Continues to rotate. Arms through the golf ball there. Gets a little jammed up, but that's something he's working on. And then the body and the arms through there together and into the balanced follow through. Not the most powerful swing in the world, but certainly one of the most precise. Beauty. He's got that iron game dialed in. Short iron into this short par four. Well, he said it the other day, Trevor, he could be one of the best iron players in the game, and he's hit some beauties this week. Yeah, he has amazing control. Oh, he got oh. that thing to jump forward. Most balls haven't done that. That landed right on top of that ridge. Beautiful play there from Tom. Second at 18. Pretty close to where Justin Thomas hit from. Oh, Tom Kim nearly did the same thing as he Justin did, Thomas. But a different way. Here is Tom Kim out in Maui at the Century Tournament of Champions. This par three hole typically plays downhill and into the wind. And the one thing I want you to see as we just run through this gorgeous action is how the body and the arms work in tandem with each other. One does not race away from the other. And that's one of the things, the timing of the swing, that is paramount to good presentation of the golf club through impact and, of course, quality golf shots. So there's Tom Kim with a cutoff follow through because of the low shot. Now, because he's trying to hit the ball lower, he has the ball back in his stance a little bit. And you see this relationship here between his lead arm and the club almost looks like one straight line. So as he starts away, that straight line will not get given up. The body and the arms just sweep away together. Remember, two turns, one swish. Right there, beautiful extension. Whether he is a driver in his hand or an iron, it looks the same. From there, he'll continue to rotate around his core up to the follow through. Look at that very quiet wrist action. In fact, if I just extended that left arm, you see there's hardly any wrist action right there. That allows him to be just so very consistent. Now the eyes will stay behind the ball, the lower body will lead, arms are down in front of the body beautifully right there. And that is setting him up just to basically sweep the arms through contact as the body rotates and leads the action into the shorter, more abbreviated follow through. So it's something to learn as we take him to the follow through. Whether you're going full or whether you're going easy and cutting something off like Tom Kim is, arms-body relationship are just crucial to success. And it's something he does as well as anybody in the game. Oh, how good is that? Beautifully done. You know, for a kid that's only 20 years old, it just has to really be kind of a mind-boggling that he could be this talented. We've seen a lot of guys hit irons really close here today at 10. Oh, whoa, not that close. Wow, how about that? What a shot. Hey, this guy can play. There are just so many lessons you can learn from Tom Kim. Now, this is him with a wedge in the hand, and the posture is just beautiful. Two things to illustrate here. You see those arms and the club, they look like a letter Y. That Y gets retained throughout the action to be precise with a wedge. And the second thing is, he is out in Maui, which is a pretty hilly spot. He's clearly on an upslope. 
So now because you're on the upslope, you want to make sure that your body angles sort of match that sum but you never want to try and elevate the golf ball because I want to show you how he's going to turn around how he's set up, but that club is certainly going to drive down and into the turf. So he's now into his backswing. There's no real shifting of the weight back because remember, you have to get the club underneath the golf ball and this hill is going to want to push you to the right because that gravity stuff, well, it's pretty reliable. So there he is right now, arms still extended, quiet wrists. Remember the turns and the swish? Up to the side now, because he's looking for precision, you see that trail elbow? It's not so far in behind the body. So he's varying the length of the golf swing. You don't have to swing full if you're hitting a wedge. And because the arms are to his side, that allows things to match up through contact so much more. Now watch this as we take him all the way down to contact. You're going to see that club collide with the ground and indeed drive into the ground. No trying to lift up or elevate the ball there whatsoever. In fact, the collision of club and ground caused the club to slow down. And you'll see as he moves to the follow through now, there will not be the fuller action. Look at that. No buckle down in the wrist. Body still turning, though. He hasn't tried to lift that golf ball. He's allowed the loft of the club to do the work for him. But the concept of two turns and a swish, it remains the same. That is so good. Wow. Break that margin for error so small. Oh, that's just a brilliant shot. No yeah, fear of the 20 year old. First time here for Tom Kim. There's a lot of young. Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> get that on camera? Oh, yeah. It's Typical on camera. Tom Kim fashion. Did you get that? <laughs> 